more than 100,000 people came out for the four-day event, which draws in people from all across the country. Ray Brewer joins us live in Loudoun now, where race fans were thrilled to show off their NASCAR pride. Good morning, Ray. Good morning, Sean. Many of those NASCAR fans uh, slept in overnight here, not wanting to take in all that traffic there on Route 106. And we spoke with dozens of them and say this is something they look forward to each year. They can't imagine doing without it. Race car fans taking in the last moments at the New Hampshire Motor Speedway as another race weekend comes to a close. The atmosphere is totally awesome. As you can tell. <laughs> Linda Fontaine was part of a group of dedicated fans trying to catch a glimpse of NASCAR drivers leaving the track before heading home. Something many people weren't looking forward to. Traffic. Traffic. <laughs> Don't fight the traffic. Jim Fitzgerald, one of many who stay at the Speedway Sunday night to avoid getting stuck on Route 106 in Loudoun. I'm staying. They're going home. We have to work for a little bit. They got to work tomorrow. I can go to into work in the morning when I want to get in there. Many fans are calling this year's race one of the best yet. So it's a lot of cautions, a lot of action, good drivers, lots of fun. More than 100,000 fans packed into their seats along the track to watch Sunday's Sylvania 300. National anthem, flyovers, it's good stuff. It's New Hampshire. Even those who didn't have seats right in the speedway say the experience can't be beat. It's awesome. You can't get any better than this on the hill. <laughs> it's great. We love it. Of those remaining fans, we'll head home this morning and later on today, so you can expect a little bit of extra traffic on Route 106. And now the countdown is on to next year's races. Reporting live in Loudon, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.